Nigerian plays often focus on the country's social and political problems. Examples include the player, the play fixer in 2011, the killing swamp in 2010. Now, a Nigerian theater company in Lagos recently staged an adaptation of the popular fairy tale Beauty and the Beast, but with a twist, as VOA's Carolyn Turner reports. To the delight of the town's theater lovers, Beauty and the Beast recently came to Lagos as a Nigerian adaptation titled Bubiwe. This is the first African version of the famous French love story. The production company, Performing Arts Workshop Studios, known as PAWS, fused dance, music, and drama in this production to jazz up the flagging Nigerian theater industry. The director of the play, Kenneth Apoho, explains. There's a revival going on for, of theater in Nigeria, and um, we thought to bring theater, whole theater, wholesome theater that has dance, uh, music, and uh, music and uh, um, drama together. And um, we thought of doing something to also um, bring families together. I hope you like it here. The palace is your home now. So you can go anywhere you wish, except the West Wing. What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden! Beauty and the Beast is a folk fairy tale that was originally published in 1740. Over the years, the tale has been adapted for film, stage, and television. It tells the story of a beautiful girl, Belle, who is held captive by a beast in his castle. The girl falls in love with her gentle captor, and this frees him from a curse that has changed him into a hideous beast. Although the Nigerian theater is enjoying a resurgence, a lack of funding and poor infrastructure remain major obstacles to the growth of industry. The two hurdles are forcing theater goers to pay a high ticket price, as one attendee explains. It was, it was, it actually blew my mind, but I didn't expect that it was going to be this nice. When I was talking to my friend, they like, oh, I don't want it. The, the price was actually a bit high. I thought I was going to pay, but uh, if I was told to pay more, I would gladly do that. Maybe it's better this way. Don't talk like that. This adaptation emphasizes the theme of greed and unequal power relations in allusion to Nigerian leaders. Artists believe that the government could be doing more for the arts. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.